permanent home for its District 5 station is down to two places, Camp Washington or College Hill. City Council is being flooded with emails full of reasons why not to pick one of them. Here's our Walter Smith Randolph. Inside the cut factory, customers like Charles Pruitt are worried what will happen if District 5 becomes a permanent neighbor. Some of these businesses have been around here for a long time, and some of the people are groomed to these businesses. Um, forcing people out will kind of damage the community. District 5 could go to the old permit center in Camp Washington for about $10 million, or they could stay here in the College Hill Plaza. That would cost $22 million and possibly displace businesses like the Cut Factory and Family Dollar. I haven't made a decision yet, uh, but I mean, factors like displacing a Family Dollar. Uh, uh, is important. Uh, you know, I would like to see a win-win for everyone. While city council members weigh their options, Seth Wall says keeping District 5 here is the right move. 60% of the crimes calls over the last couple of years come from Mount Airy, come from College Hill, come from Spring Grove Village and Winton Place and Northside. You know, College Hill Plaza is right in the center of that. Seth says he turned in a petition with 1,300 signatures of people who want District 5 headquarters to be built here. He says it only makes sense because there's already a fire station here and the city has invested millions in redevelopment of businesses along this corridor. It would not be moving for a number of years, you know, at best, as the city has been very clear about. What we're doing, you know, through our revitalization efforts in this neighborhood is actually trying to solve that issue organically through finding new businesses. For Pruitt, new business is great, but he hopes the old businesses aren't sent packing. When you talk about forcing out businesses and making it hard for community that's been coming to these businesses for years, and you know, business owner had to get up and relocate, that's like somebody forcing you out of your house that you're comfortable in for years. In College Hill, Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News. And Jeff Pastor says building a police substation could also be a solution. A presentation will be made to city council members who will then vote on the two locations. A date for that presentation has not yet been set.